Hello everyone, welcome back. Last episode, we talked to um, Havrecht, and he uh, gave us the plan, the rundown, of what we're gonna do. And now we're gonna go uh, actually do it. We're gonna go see if we can kill this great spirit or not. I doubt I won't be able to, because that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> um, but uh, the game is definitely coming to a close. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. Time to go to Rena. I guess this Rena. means we should give that warp drive a spin. I'm excited. I... I have high hopes for this boss fight. I mean, it's the final boss fight. It should be awesome. Cross your fingers, I guess. Big pretty beam. There's the um. See the. Whoa. It's a mouth. Looks super cool though. This place is huge and desolate. <laughs> There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is dead. I mean, have you seen it? It it looks dead. Then this <laughs> must be the hollowing. Oh. You mean to tell me this whole world, the entire ocean is that stuff? And it's covering everything. Yikes. The entire planet. This explains what happened to the, the, hang, the Hell Gang Club, I guess. This is what I the guess. Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting. This world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. Great Spirit's a meanie. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? Yes. We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's How nice of them to um, have a a landing pad and platforms and a teleportation circle. Destroyed remnants, Rena. <laughs> also, that looks sick. That like mouth-looking thing. So this is Rena. This is where everything the began. World of death. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. Ever. Definitely the... The, the coolest atmosphere. The I can see. really like it. What do you think would happen Super if we ominous. fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Can you swim? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? No, I'll pass. This is, is a good question. No one's actually graveyard. ever touched it. Are you it. proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? I wonder. No, because I said I passed. Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. 
Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. Dude, I think I was get off his back. In it or something. But yeah, I guess we've never so actually seen anyone even, like, touch it. I wonder what would happen. I wonder if it's, like, but just how do we do thick that or exactly? I'm guessing not. It won't be as easy you can see through it or not. I don't know. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, she owns had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The great spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to steal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Bridging the divides. Certainly sounds for you. interesting. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only yep. we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example, but with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day, there will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A Whoa. world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Because I want Runewell and Law to set the example. The exception. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Definitely leave that to Alfin and Dahalim. I would just, just them. I think they do a pretty good job on their own. So let's um, let's just get right into it, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we've warped into that astral energy. Retirement plans. I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. <laughs> oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. <laughs> You'll need to stay with us for now, though. We're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Or just let, just let the homie retire, bro. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! That's Is wonderful. Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No! I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? 
I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Oh. Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. Ah. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? No. <laughs> Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> Sick of boy. <laughs> oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep packing, Hoodle. Uh, ow, ow, ow. She's Please, giving too much authority. She should not just be allowed to attack you know, people guys, on command with that bird. It, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. Yeah. You can say that again. Where'd they come One from? for certain in this world is that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Why? Zoogles They're originally me. used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Fair. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Can't Renans already control wild, them? It's worth remembering that yeah. Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Long corridor with sparkles. Oh, Hell see, Ganquil. they're red. Guess they don't need their red well, disguises anymore. Hevrecht is gray. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. See, Hevrecht 35 so to an end. really are being controlled. In that case, we've got maybe no maybe that's why they're red because they're being controlled. Maybe I don't know. And there's six there of them. Oh, that's all of them. Six down. Oh, probably a lot more to go. Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done. I wonder what they do. I hate killing them. What weapon can I make out of them? They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. Most definitely. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. Zoogles. They look cool. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, 
Was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? Definitely building and stuff. We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Uh... Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. I mean, sure. we're friends with Hevrick, right? We don't He's even one. know if they would see us as being on a also like level a, with them or not. I like a vegetable, so... I think we may have had so. a chance once. Before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... ...changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary. I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In Tragedy's Aftermath. Hope is all we have. Oh my gosh, there's so many cutscenes. Just look at the size of that. So thing. that's how you know you're getting close to the end of the game. <laughs> certainly is impressive. It's just all they don't seem lore. To do things by halves either. In the past 300 years, no, oh, even before that, just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. You know that for and sure? that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? We jump. Yeah. <laughs> With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. Can't they fly? There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. Yeah, I don't feel like they have that on foot problem. I'm pretty sure they can fly. They can they have they can go in space. Like they're definitely in the cleat. Also these enemies are like level 40. I mean level 50, and I am not. That worries me for the boss. What's this? I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind controlled like the Helgan Quill. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danons? Most definitely. It's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danons. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danons too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Oh my god. Now hang on though. It was that same free will that allowed Shion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Good work, Law. You're yeah. not completely Where brain dead hope, like Kasara is. What do you say? He said, without Probably some racial slurs. Standard hoodle behavior. 